Hello everybody and welcome to Steaming 33 Plays Overwatch. I'm Steaming 33 and today we're playing Overwatch because I have had access to Overwatch for a couple days, but the open beta started uh, a couple days ago actually while I was in Michigan visiting my family for the weekend. So I'm very excited for Overwatch to be out. Overwatch, for those of you who don't know, is an objective-based hero shooter. Uh, and if you're wondering why all those words are together in one sentence, it is because Overwatch is a game mostly based on using an array of characters. Like, I'm playing as Bastion today, because uh, we're on defense, and I like playing Bastion when I'm on defense. Especially when, like, uh, I'm able, it's like one of these maps where, I think this is a payload map. No, it's a point map. Yeah, point maps are even better, because then you can just set up somewhere and just destroy people for life. Um, but, uh, so it's a game, it's a shooter where instead of having, like, loadouts you have like character classes that you're playing as right um and so like i'm playing as bastion bastion's abilities are that left shift turns me into a minigun my e turn like repairs me and then i can shoot uh and then my ultimate which is the key which is that gauge in the middle of the screen there uh turns me into a tank and i roll around and shoot at people with tank shells and stuff and it's it's pretty good um but we're gonna we're gonna hang out in this building, and uh, I'm gonna take a minute because we're on defense to talk about Overwatch real quick before uh, we really start kicking off with the enemy here. Um, so Overwatch, like I said, is a team-based hero shoot. It's a team-based, objective-based hero shooter. Uh, we play on a team of six people, six on six, and uh, our objective uh, right now is for us to defend point A, and then if we lose point A, to defend point B, which will show up after point A gets taken, right? Um. So we're playing as the defensive hero Bastion. Bastion turns into a turret, which makes him kind of ideal for defense because I can sit here and Bastion is very, very good at holding down a, a small area, right? Um, Bastion is not good at attacking because he uh, he's best in, in turret mode and you can only really be in turret mode when uh, you're able to hold still for a long period of time. Uh, problem with Bastion not being able to move very much is that it makes him, makes him immobile. Which is a problem because, uh, you know, you die a lot. But that's part of the game. Dying's part of the game. Um, you know, I'm not super concerned about it. My team all sort of shit the bed uh, defending the doorway. They all got, like, immediately destroyed. So uh, that was kind of bad, but we're all right. Uh, I'm very excited to get to play some Overwatch, though. I've been meaning to make videos of it ever since I got my beta key, like, a week ago or so. Uh, and I just never really got around to it. Um, which is my fault, like... It had nothing to do with, it had nothing to do with nothing except for that I meant to play and I just didn't. Kill that guy! Kill that guy! We're doing all right. I can hear the Roadhog wheel, so we're just gonna try to kill as many people as possible before we get destroyed here by what I'm imagining was the Roadhog wheel. Yep, there it is. So uh, that's Roadhog. Roadhog's uh, he shoots grenades and his ultimate is he rolls this stupid wheel at you. Uh, guy's a big pain in the dick, but. Uh, if you're new to the game, Roadhog's a very easy character to play as. Um, he doesn't require a terribly large amount of strategy in order to play. Um, for obvious reasons. Uh, grenade launcher, not the not the most sophisticated weapon in the universe. Which is nice. Uh, that's gonna hit me, but that's alright. We'll repair ourselves here while we're, we've got a second, basically. We'll, we'll leave that that Reaper to our our friend there. All right, go into turret like tank mode and let's go ahead and lay some fire down here. Whew. Uh, tank mode, not bad. Uh, it's a good ultimate because it lets you move around. Uh, I just sucked and nobody was like really grouped up for me to make good use of it, which was bad. But. Whatever, we should have repaired, but I got greedy and hit Q instead of... Ah, that's not what I want to do. Go back to walking mode, please. Ah, uh, Farrah, what are you doing? Farrah, please. So, uh, we're probably going to lose. Uh, losing happens. It's part of the game. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll switch. Probably Bastion's probably not the best person to try to take the point with. Let's try to do D.Va. Uh, nope, we ended up losing, so whatever. Not a big deal. Games are fast and loose in Overwatch, and uh, they're, they can be over very quickly, or they can take up to 20 minutes. Um, it all sort of just depends on uh, what you're going to do, you know? <laughs> I 
I ended up with play of the game anyways because I got a, I got that sick double kill, um, which was nice. But that's all right. Uh, we did pretty good. I got plenty of solo kills. Seven eliminations is not bad. <laughs> um, trash talking has already begun. But the next game will begin in like 15 seconds. We'll roll right into another one. Basically, we get to see some of our stats. Uh, I'm already level 11 because uh, I've been playing a lot since I got my beta key. Um, but we did pretty good. Seven eliminations is not bad, uh, for the length of the game that we had. I did plenty of damage. I didn't do any, I didn't have any objective time. So, you know. But it's fine. Ah, <sighs> alright. Now, this map is weird. So, uh, this is a, uh, it's another point map, right? Uh, where there are, like, points on the map that we have to attack, and then, uh, do stuff with. Let's let's go in as. No, let's go in as. No, not fair. I guess we already have a fair up. We'll go in as. We'll go in as May. Uh, I like May. Uh, May is uh, an interesting character. So she has a cryo gun, and her cryo gun. If when you shoot people with it, after you shoot them for like a little while, they freeze and turn into a block of ice. If you run up and punch them, they die. Um, or, and your R, so, May's different, so, unlike Bastion, May actually has a set of abilities. Her E creates an ice wall, which you can use to, like, block areas off and stuff. Her L1, or her left click shoots this, like, beam of frost, you can kind of see. Uh, my right, right click fires an icicle, which does, like, pretty decent damage, good for getting headshots. And my left shift turns me into this, like, block of ice, kind of like Jaina from Hearthstone. I'm indestructible, and while I'm inside of it, I also heal. Um... You know, for the sake of the video, I did show you guys that, but normally I wouldn't Normally I wouldn't show off that kind of stuff. We must have a Lucio. Lucio is this guy over here with the, uh, with the roller skates on. Uh, while he's in green mode, he allows us to run faster, which is fantastic. Right, kill this lady right here. Ugh, I'll let her kill you. All right. So that's D.Va. Uh, she normally she pilots a robot, but when she when her robot dies, uh, she jumps out and she has like a gun and she can use that to like attack people. Got her. All right. Um, I like I like May a lot. May is a lot of fun. She's a very very good character. Um, she's very good at holding points because she uh, can do lots of zoning. She's a good zone character, right? Uh, which is kind of nice good to be able to out do that kind of stuff got killed by reaper which sucks because you know reaper is kind of a pain of the dick uh our bastion is terrible so that kind of sucks but we'll stick to may uh may's ultimate is my the reason i really like her so her ultimate is she throws out this like little robot buddy dude who kind of looks like uh it's like a little probe and uh it like shoots the over this big area it drops this like field of freezing cold energy and uh it it freezes everybody inside of it, which is nice, because, you know, you can really do some serious damage with that kind of stuff. We're alright. We'll go ahead and attack Reaper here. Get some shots in. Go ahead and freeze ourselves here before we get killed. Alright, we're good. Feeling good. We're doing fine. Well, a lot of this is going to just be holding down points and trying to kill Farah because she's a pain in the dick. Go ahead and toss this out there. Try to, I was trying to hit Reaper, but apparently he didn't want to be he didn't want to be hit. So there we go. That guy's dead now. All right, we're gonna hide inside here. Go ahead and wall that off there. Cause I don't feel like dealing with that. Well, that's bad. <laughs> uh, my freeze uh, came off cooldown just like a little, like a half second too late, um, which sucked. Um, so that's D.Va's ultimate. She overloads the core on her mech, and uh, you can and like she jumps out of it. If you use, she has an ability that like sets like these rocket boosters off on her robot. If you do that before doing her ultimate, uh, it causes the robot to go like rocketing forward, like you guys saw. Uh, if you're within eyesight of it or within like a certain range of it, uh, the the robot kills you uh, instantly. Uh, I feel like I feel like May is not the right choice right now. Um, because uh, I need to, I need to get into the thing, and I need to take it. Uh, and I always feel weird because like May is a very good character for holding the point, but she's terrible for taking the point, right? 
Uh, she's got very low range, and she's very good. If you got her ultimate, um, her ultimate is actually super great at taking the point, but... You know, we gotta be, gotta be weary about that kind of stuff. My team apparently is also deciding not to be coordinated at all, which kind of sucks, but... Whatever. Alright, let's switch characters here. Uh, let's go with... Hmm. Who to switch to? Ah, we'll stick to May. I want to try to get her ultimate off. Um, also appears that we are taking the point. Uh, and so once we... Ow. Alright. Uh, we're gonna win this one, I think. Um, because basically, yeah, now they have overtime to try to get into the point and delay the game a little bit more, which they managed to do. Uh, overtime's probably... Probably the best thing that you can get um, in in this game, because ah, damn it. Well, looks like they're gonna be able to take the point back anyway. Um, yeah, they had way too many ultimates stacked up, ready to go for that overtime, which sucks. That's all right. We'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. Get back in there quickly. We gotta try to be more coordinated with our team. The problem is that like, so there is like, there is like chat, but nobody uses it like at all. all right, now I gotta get in there and toss my ultimate inside this room right here. Oh, take this! Pop! Pop! Ah, damn it. My ultimate landed too far into the room. I meant to land it in the middle. Uh, but you saw that, like, I only really hit Agent 47 over there, 74 or whatever. Um, which sucks. Right. Uh, Lucio's giving me a little bit of a speed boost. We gotta get in there. We gotta get the point back. Otherwise, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose again! No! I don't wanna lose again. Ah, damn it. That fucking Pharah and their ultimate's so good in there. Just, like, got in there, boosted the ceiling, and then killed everyone. Did we lose? We lost. Damn it. That sucks. That's okay. Round two begins. Uh, that round two... Uh, hopefully we can pull it back on this round. In this round, let's go ahead and let's play... Play a little bit of Hanzo. Uh, Hanzo uses a bow and arrow. Uh, you, you charge the bow, you fire the arrow. It's pretty good. Uh, your left shift pulls out uh, Sonic Arrow, which you use to, like, it reveals all the enemies in an area. Your E turns into, like, a Shattering Arrow, which is like a shotgun. It bounces all over the place. Uh, and then I don't think he doesn't have any other abilities other than that. But then his ultimate is he shoots a big dragon arrow, and it's pretty, pretty decent. Um, I've definitely used worse things in my life than a big-ass Hanzo Dragon Arrow. So we're going to try to come up here and get some good sniping action in up here. Uh, I used to be really good with the bow in Team Fortress 2, actually. Um, it used to be, like, my weapon of choice. So I'm hoping that I can make some of those skills translate over to Hanzo here. Because uh, that would be nice. Go ahead and fire that in there. They got double Lucio, which is a pain in the dick. Um, that's alright. We killed that guy. Got to kill that bitch. Kill her. Got it. Feeling pretty good. Alright, Hanzo, uh, Hanzo's not a hard character to play as. I'll be, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you that. A lot of it, he's like every sniper in the game, you know? It's only really hard until it's not hard anymore, and then it's not hard anymore. Um. I can't believe I missed her point blank. That's, uh, a little embarrassing, to say the least. Right. Ow, 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 ow! Got her! I got her! And I fell in the hole, though! <laughs> oh, that's alright. I managed to kill Tracer there right before I fell into the hole. As you can see it right here. Bam! I hit her right in the head, and I, I fell in the hole. <laughs> um, my bad. I always forget that that giant hole's in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of this objective. It's kind of a pain in the ass. There apparently is somebody on the point, but they are not capturing it because we have people on the point as well. It appears to be a Reinhardt. What the hell was that? Stop that. 
Um, I need to get some health, so let's go ahead and... Oh, no, Lucio's in the area. Good. Right, just hang out near Lucio while he's got that orange, the yellow ultimate up, and we'll be good to go. Got him. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're still good. We're still good. You can see giant dragon arrow coming out, going into that room over there, because I know there's health over there, and I knew there was a pharaoh. Their pharaoh was over there somewhere, but I missed. Uh, dragon arrow not super great on this particular map because uh, there's too many, too many directions to come from. Um, regular arrow still doing pretty decent work here. Gonna try to keep it, keep it down here. Break line of sight with that thing. Gotta hit somebody, please. Come on. Come on. Get it together. Oh, there we go. All right. Fantastic. Uh, you kind of tell... The game's kind of chaotic, but it's not, like... It's not Call of Duty level chaos, right? It's sort of, like... It's chaotic, but with, like... You know, it's got a good pace to it. Um... That's definitely what I would say about it, is that it has good pacing. Um, got her. Cool. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. I think that's going to do it. I think we're going to take this one right here. Uh, got Tracer. Fantastic. Yeah, we won. All right. I think me killing Tracer might actually won that one for us right there. All right, on to round three. Going to try to try to stick it in here with this. Uh, we're going to stick to Hanzo for right now, because uh, we are on the attack this time. They start closer to the point than we do. Um, I don't know this map too well because I have honestly never made it this far. Uh, fighter, fighter of the, Fighters of the Storm 2. And that's uh, Reinhardt's little symbol. Which I shot with an arrow. You can kind of tell, so like the game's very, uh, it's very blizzardy, right? So it's got the, got this very nice art style. It's got all these like very good things. It's a very tight, very fun game. Uh, oh, wait, no, I know where this map is. Yeah, so the so Hanzo arrow is actually like, super duper good on this map. Um, so we're going to fire one right there. One more. Nope, didn't hit anybody that time. There's a Roadhog up there. He's being a big piece of shit. Really need to get some healing. Left shift, fire that in there. Take a look, see. This appears to be a road hog. Alright, that's fine. I hope so. Don't lie to me, Lucio. Got him. Alright, cool. Yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, this is a bad map for Bastion, actually, because there's nowhere really safe to, like, hang out as Bastion on this map. Which is a problem, to say the least. Let's go ahead and try to... Let's try to hit this Moodle Maker over here. Got her! <laughs> oh, that was a fantastic shot. I, uh, I'm i actually kind of proud of myself for that one. Um, had to line it up just right. And I had to hit her in the head, otherwise she wouldn't die. So, yeah, these uh, these people keep coming in one at a time like this. We're going to we're gonna beat them over time. Let's fire an arrow right there. That'll hopefully hit some people. It did not. We, uh, we missed everyone. So, uh, I still haven't landed uh, a single Hanzo arrow. Uh, it's a lot better on maps that have um, stationary objectives, uh, like or um, with payloads. So, payload maps, it's a lot better to be Hanzo on, because you can fire your ultimate directly at the payload, and you like kind of kind of generally know where people are going to be uh, when you're on a payload map. Got her. All right, cool. One hit, two hit, redfish, blue hit, got it. Cool. Killed me. We're doing we're doing really good right now. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Got him. All right. Not bad. Definitely making myself feel better about my Hanzo skills right now. Uh, gotten a couple very very good kills. Very very solid attacks. Doing fine. Doing fine. Even just landing hits is totally fine. Hey Lu hey Lucy, how's it going, buddy? Got her. Cool. All right, let's let's hold on to our ultimate until somebody's like right in our grill, and then we'll just like unload it on them, I guess. Got 
Got her. Fire a dragon in that direction. We won. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Not bad. The fucking Hanzo plays were coming in real strong right there. Feel pretty good about that. Yeah, that that's when she was inside of that dome and killed everyone with that rocket barrage. That was too it was too good. Watch this shit. This is this is the kind of stuff that like these ultimates were built for, right? Yeah, she killed all of us. Everyone inside of there. Just wiped the whole team out basically 1v4. Uh that was pretty dope. Uh I feel pretty good about that. 13 kill streak. That's kinda nuts. I'll be even giving a shit about my 13 kill streak. But that's all right. Uh, I think with that, though, let's see how much XP we got and see if we got ourselves a loot crate. And maybe we'll open that up at the end of the episode here. We did not. Um, how did we do on Hanzo? Yeah, that was all good Hanzos. All right. Uh, I think with that note, we're going to call it quits for this episode, though. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more Overwatch, please let me know down in the comments down below if you like the way that this video was run. If you want to see more Overwatch, if you want me to play a certain character because you're curious or you want me to do something, let me know down in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to keep playing Overwatch for you guys. So on that, we'll call it quits. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! -ya.